Welcome back to Afternoon Express, where this entire week we have focused on champions, but not only champions in whatever industry they're in, but champion recipes in the kitchen. Now, as Dumi continues to practice her little rumba step, we need to be practicing the food. Because after all of that dancing, we are going to need a meal, right? Yeah, listen, it's all about lining the tummies. Now every champion needs a wholesome meal to end off the day. And this braised lamb shank is just that. A pot full of love served with a roasted butternut salad and a deliciously tangy clover classic mayonnaise dressing. A winning combination. Now, these are, this is one of my favorite meals. I know. So I'm going to get started with the lamb. As you can see, I started by frying up my, sauteing my onions and my garlic, and I've moved them outside mm. to the edges of the pot because I'm about to add the lamb shank in there, and I've increased, I've cranked up that heat to make sure it's nice and hot because when we add our lamb shank in there, we want it to immediately start searing and getting that beautiful brown crust. I, and that time I thought the sweating was just from the dance moves, but Girl. no, it's from that hot pan. It is hot in this kitchen. So before we get too far, I'm also gonna add some flavor components to that. I've got some um, bay leaves that we're adding in there as well. Yeah. That is what I was waiting for. So that is exactly what we want. Domi, how does one pick the perfect lamb shank? I'm in the shops, it's Christmas time, or it's a special occasion, I'm overwhelmed at the cuts of meat. Yes, that is something that I understand a lot of people can go through. One, trust your butcher. Trust your butcher to be able to give you quality meat, because if they're gonna be selling meat to you, you need to know that it's quality meat. Yeah. So first, trust your, your, your butcher, but secondly also, look at the texture. Whenever you're pressing any kind of meat, it shouldn't Give, give way. That means that it's nice and fresh. The fat on it must it be firm. Must be firm and it mustn't be yellow. It must be nice and white. As you can see here, it looks fresh. Look at the look at the actual piece of meat itself. Got gotcha. you. It gives off a smell. That's the first sign that you must not even bother about it. If it gives off any type of scent that you, you know to be mm, Bash on jalo. Exactly. You so. know, all, all the foodies say the same thing. Trust absolutely every kind of scent mm -hmm. that you have. Look at it, feel it, smell it, exactly. especially with that fresh produce. So, okay, whilst that is uh, bubbling under, is that a vinaigrette? Yeah, so what I've done is I've added, because we want to make sure that this meat cooks nice and tender throughout, so we're getting it nice and brown on the one side, we're gonna flip it over, cook the other side as well, but we also want to make sure that we get in as much flavor. And I've right. added some red wine vinegar, and people might be wondering, why are you adding red wine vinegar? It's a sour, bitter thing that you'd add. That actually helps with tenderizing the meat for us. Got you. So I'm gonna let that cook down, but I see you've started, Wena. You were like, I'm not gonna wait for her. Uh -uh. I know my salad responsibilities, I wanna get onto that. And I see you've started adding the goat cheese into this butternut. Yes. Friend, you're making now, me happy. Now, when it comes to a butternut salad, I love my feta cheese, but goat cheese is also an equally delicious, creamy kind of addition. Mm. But we're not only leaving the creaminess up uh -uh. to the goat cheese, we're also um, adding that creaminess within our clover classic mayonnaise. Okay. Now, this has a range of tangy may or is rather a range of tangy mayonnaises that comes in three different levels of tanginess. You've got mild, medium, and strong. Today here, we're using level tanginess number one. So it's, you know, it's a little bit more mild, but you can choose your preferred level of tang. And for this recipe, we're going to be using our clover classic um, mayonnaise. Uh, you can try it in a potato salad. You can use it with the potato skins. It is up to you. It gives it that extra kick that is needed. So I put quite a bit there. I can see, I can see you're going all in, my friend. Yes. And you've got a couple of different things there as well. Yeah, absolutely. This is uh, mustard. Whole grain mustard. Love whole grain mustard in any type of dressing. We also have some spices, paprika. I love how you've basically balanced all those flavor components. Yes. You're talking about salty, sweet, sweet. You also have that spiciness that comes from your rocket that you've got there. And obviously the sweetness from the honey will balance everything all together. Yebo, yebo, yebo. And this essentially sets you up for the most perfect salad dressing that is going to accompany the salad that I've already put together. The butternut, we've roasted, it's in there, the rocket at the bottom. And of course, I've got some nuts. But it's time nice for cortex. my yeah. favorite. Talk to me about the lamb shank. While you're stirring that, these lamb shanks only need to go into the oven for about an hour. I like to give it an extra 30 minutes each time. Cover it with foil, give it an hour 30 minutes, then after that, check whether it's tender to your likeness. And then, girl, indulge in that salad and this lamb shank. Everyone is happy. Everyone is happy. Is this on your face? <laughs> no, 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 we're not playing games, but the real games are going to come at the end when we get our dance on. Ooh. But just like that, Mzansi, dinner is served.
There is a classic mayonnaise that brings out the traditional French in three levels of tanginess. The mild classic, the medium classic, the strong classic. Tangy, the way you love it. Made with love by Clover.